Hello, everybody. Today we are going to take a glance at tree tasks that can be solved in several ways from beginners to advanced. The first one is, how to input multiple values from user in one line in Python. The second is, how to detect whether a Python variable is a function. And the third, Python program to demonstrate the maximum element in a tuple. Before we start, please, give a like to this episode so more people can see it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episodes. Let's go! How to input multiple values from user in one line in Python. We will use function input, list comprehensions, int, map and split. Let's see the solutions. In the first way we use simple input function and convert stand string value to integer. If name equals main print result of adding two numbers. The second way is using split. Split function has a default argument, space. It separates our two numbers and makes a list. Then variables x and y takes elements by index. Then convert to integers. Now we have the same result, but for convert variables to integers we use list comprehension. The third way is short form of the second one. The fourth is using map. Map function takes two mandatory parameters, method or function and array. The function applies to every element of array. The last way we do with std and method of sys module. Then read values by redline method and separate them by split function. There are times when we would like to check whether a Python variable is a function or not. This may not seem that much useful when the code is a thousand lines and you are not the writer of it one may easily stuck with the question of whether a variable is a function or not. We will be using the below methods to check the same. By calling the built-in function callable. By importing this function from the inspect module. By using the type function. By calling the built-in function has attribute by using the isInstance function. Let's see at the solutions. We have simple function called add that returns sum of two numbers.
The first way of detecting that it is function is callable method. Also we should not to forget to create a simple variable for comparison. Next way. Inspect is a module from which we will have to use the is function which returns a boolean value true if it is a function, else return false. And for using this, first, you have to import is function from inspect, and after that use, is function to get the boolean value. Next way using type function. It is a function that tells us the type of an object by which we will check if the type of object is a function then it is callable otherwise it is not callable. Next way, hasitr. It is a function that tells us the type of an object by which we will check if the type of object is a function or not. It returns a boolean value as well just like callable. And the last way, is instance. It is a function that tells us the type of object by which we will check if the type of object is a function or not. It returns a boolean value as well just like hasitr or callable. And the last challenge for today is a Python program to demonstrate the maximum element in a tuple. A tuple is one of the data structures in Python which are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Values of a tuple are syntactically separated by commas. Although it is not necessary, it is more common to define a tuple by closing the sequence of values in parentheses. Python program to get the maximum element in a tuple begins from the simple way. It is using input data from user method split to separate elements and the built-in max function. Next way is not harder than previous, but we have to see that. It is variant for using our own created tuple and for loop. Next way is advanced one. We have used recursive function. First of all setting base condition for recursion, next getting item at current index, update if new greater value is found, and in the end recursive call. One approach that is mentioned in the given tutorial is to use the python reduce function from the functools module, to find the maximum element in the tuple. The reduce function applies a given function to a sequence of elements, reducing the sequence to a single value.
Then let's return to the simple approaches. This way is using sort array function. The last way is using for loop and enumerate function. Thank you for watching. Please, give a like for support this channel. Write comments, share with friends, and subscribe to see new series. Be safe. Bye.